Standing by to pick up the count in 10 seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, Captain two, one. Three. T minus nine minutes and counting. T minus nine minutes. We are now just nine minutes away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission to the International Space Station. All the countdown events are being controlled by the launch ground launch sequence here in the firing room. Here is First Lady Laura Bush, who uh, has come to witness today's launch, along with the invited guests and astronauts' families. Coming up now, the final program pre-launch commands are going to be put on uh, aboard Discovery. And the uh, pilot is going to activate switches to connect the fuel cell essential buses. Three good fuel cells connected uh, to the orbiter. Standing by for a retraction of the crew orbiter access arm. TLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. Discovery OTC, it's time for you to return to flight. Our hopes and prayers ride with you. Godspeed, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. And OTC Discovery, thank you very much. That was Orbiter Test Conductor Mark Taffet here in Firing Room 3. The uh, rotating service structure can be moved back into position very quickly if there's an emergency in about 28 seconds. the uh, auxiliary power unit chart recorders that are being started. The PLT OTC perform APU pre-start. Auxiliary power unit pre-start procedure now being performed by pilot Jim Kelly and he will actually uh, start those at T minus five minutes and counting by flipping switches in the cockpit. Good pre-start on the ODS. OTC, PLT, OT pre-start complete, three great topics. Governor Jeb Bush there with the, uh, with the Laura Bush. She's right here. Staying by for APU start now. TLS is go for orbiter APU start. PLT OTC perform APU start. Inward. And CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. CDR, that's a work. Space shuttle main engine fuel valve heater is being turned off. Main engine helium purge sequence coming up. Heater reconfigure is complete. 
T-minus four minutes, four minutes and counting. And engine purge now underway and the orbiter's aerosurface profile test is beginning. Let's see Discovery's rudder moving. Main engine gimbal check, steering check coming up. Find the main engines now are in start position. TLS is go for EC LO2 pressurization. And now we should have retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the Gox vent arm. We'll pull away from the top of the external tank, the VA cap so called. Your visors and initiate O2 flow. T minus two minutes. Visors and O2 flows and work. TLS go for EC LH2 pressurization. Stabilize five. External tank bipod heaters now being deactivated. Sound suppression water system now being armed. T minus one minute. Solid rocket booster joint heater is now being deactivated. Final check of the solid rocket booster commands. Joint heater is being turned off. Locks and LH2 fill and drain valves closed. Solid rocket booster flight data recorders activated. Standing by for the handoff to Discovery's computers. T minus 31 seconds. The handoff has occurred. Discovery's computers now controlling. Twenty-five. Firing chain is armed. 20. Sound suppression water system is active, it's being activated. Yep. Brain safe systems on. T minus 10 seconds. Go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 3 engines up and burning. 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery. Beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond. And the vehicle has cleared the tower.
flight since launch. Discovery speed now at 900 miles per hour. Discovery, Houston, go at throttle up. Discovery, just go with throttle. All systems remain go for Discovery. Altitude now 9 miles, 6 miles northeast of the launch pad. Since launch, Discovery's already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Speed now 2,000 miles per hour. Altitude 18 miles, 14 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by now for a burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms clean separation of the solid rocket boosters. Discovery now on its three main engines, second stage. Speed now 3,030 miles per hour, altitude 33 miles, 40 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's oil maneuvering system engines are now firing to assist its climb to orbit. They'll fire for about 2 minutes and 19 seconds. This again, a view from camera on the external fuel tank for Discovery. Discovery Houston, two engine Zaragoza. Discovery is two engine Zaragoza. That call that Discovery could perform a transatlantic landing at a Spanish Air Force base in Zaragoza, Spain, if required. Three engines continue to operate well. All systems in good condition. Altitude now 254,000 feet, or about 48 miles. Discovery speed 4,500 miles per hour. 85 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. About five minutes left until cutoff of Discovery's three main engines. Discovery's altitude now 59 miles, speed 5,500 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, negative return. Discovery is negative return. That call confirming Discovery's gained too much speed and altitude to return to a landing at the Kennedy Space Center if that were required. All systems remain go for Discovery. Just over four minutes to cut off of the main engines. During that time, Discovery will more than triple its current speed to reach the 17,400 miles per hour required to achieve Earth orbit. Discovery 200 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center now. Altitude 65 miles, speed 6,700 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, press to ATO. Discovery is pressed to ATO. That call indicating Discovery could reach a lower than planned but safe orbit on only two engines if needed. All three engines continue to operate well at full throttle. Speed now 8,000 miles per hour. Altitude 67 miles, 300 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, single engine ops three. Three. Discovery can perform a transatlantic landing on only one engine if required. All continuing to go well. Altitude 67 miles, 350 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery speed now 9,200 miles per hour.
Discovery is rolling to a heads up position now to assist its performance as it uh, finishes its ascent to orbit. Discovery Houston, press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza 104. Press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza 104. Those calls that Discovery could reach its planned orbit on only two engines if needed. All three continue to operate well at full throttle. Just under two minutes to cut off of the main engines now. Discovery Houston, we see a nominal shutdown plan. You will be go for the plus X and go for the pitch maneuver. Nominal shutdown plan, go for the plus X and go for the pitch maneuver. Good copy. About a minute and a half to cut off of the main engines. Those calls uh, confirming that the crew is go to do a plus X maneuver after jettison of the external tank to clear. Discovery Houston, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. Plus X maneuver to clear the tank and also then a pitch maneuver that will provide uh, handheld photography by the crew through the windows of the vehicle of the external tank after it's jettisoned. One minute to cut off of the main engines now. Discovery speed 13,300 miles per hour. Altitude 65 miles, 615 miles from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's three engines are now beginning to throttle back to prevent the spacecraft from experiencing forces in excess of three times that of Earth's gravity as it to continues to accelerate. Speed now 14,800 miles per hour, altitude 63 miles, 700 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. 30 seconds to cut off of the main engines. Discovery speed now 16,000 miles per hour. Standing by for cutoff, Discovery's three main engines. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff for Discovery. Standing by now for jettison of the external fuel tank. Live television as uh, Discovery jettisons external fuel tank. All normal with the cutoff of Discovery's main engines. Discovery performing a maneuver to fire its jets and ensure a clean separation from the tank. Copy the good plus X. We saw a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required. Nominal Miko, Ohms 1 not required.